Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a follow-up video on the first designer DIY box I ever got. So this isn't going to be the, a follow-up to the $300 one I got recently. Um, that one is still, um, it got too thread up, but they haven't posted it yet. So that might be like a while, a while before I'm going to be able to report back on that. Anyway, this is the original one I got for, I think it got at the end of 2019. I want to say I got it in November or December. Um, but there's only out of the things I got, I got, um, a Gucci bag, a Rebecca Minkoff bag. I kept that bag, a Kate Spade purse, which I ended up, I think, giving to the Goodwill. Cause I think there was, um, I, I tried to do a little restoration and it kind of went wrong on my end. Um, live and learn. Right. So anyway, I just gave it to the Goodwill. Somebody else wants to restore it. That's fine. And, um, I ended up getting some Prada driving shoes and some Salvatore Ferragamo, uh, flats. Well, they marked them as flats, but there's a small heel on it. Anyway, so I wanted to like go through and show you out of that box what actually sold. There were some other things. There was some Tory Burch, um, sunglasses in a case, which I did not sell and a Kate Spade scarf. Um, I think that's seven items. There were seven items in that box. I may have been missing one. Um, but yeah, that's all, but out of that only three things have sold, but did I make my money back? Did I lose money? I mean, Hmm, I'm going to show you. So the first thing let's go. Oh yeah. Cause I've recorded this video a couple of times. I have to reset some things cause I didn't like how it turned out and I didn't really want to edit it cause it's just faster to reshoot it. Anyway, here we go. The first thing that sold was this vintage Gucci bag. Now, if you remember the video, um, it had, and I actually had the video here. Let's see, go back to it and they can, yeah. So this is the Gucci bag and it's the original, the original footage of when I got it. The inside had some white stuff. It was actually kind of a little gross, but I mean, not too gross to restore. I don't know what was in there. It was all, all over one of the sides as well, but it wiped right off. Um, I think it was, if I remember correctly, the red on the inside was also leather. So it was really easy to clean up. I have leather wipes. Um, yeah. And, but it had like a lot of markings, like a lot of, it had a couple like nicks in it and, um, several scratches. So I took some, um, Doc Martin's Wonder Balsam and I just buffed most of that out and it actually turned out really well. So I'm going to pause this and then I'm going to go back here and I really and liked how this turned out and I put it up there for 250 because I really wasn't sure how much Gucci vintage would go for. Um, the, it could have sold for more probably. Um, I probably could have held out for more and at the time I was just looking to get my money back, you know, cause this accepting this $150 offer on my $250 item, um, I doubled my money instantly. I doubled my money because I made $120. So, I mean, I think it was really kind of worth it to do that. Um, especially since it was my first time dealing with it and you know, I, I just kind of wanted my money back right away. And you can see there's a big nick right, a uh, big, uh, not gash, but it was like a kind of like a big scratch right there. I couldn't actually buff out anyway. So I listed it all. She was very happy. She gave me five stars. I was really excited about that. Okay. The next item, I'll go back to the video. Um, let's see if I can find it. Show, I don't want to show you the stuff I didn't sell. Nope. Those are the Tory Burch sunglasses, which I still have somewhere. I need to find them and then try to sell them. Okay. Here are the Prada driving shoes. Now they were really scratched up. They were really kind of like a, a camel brown and I used brown shoe polish on there. Not a really just Kiwi brown shoe polish. And they did uh, Doc Martens wonder balsam afterwards and they turned out really well. It darkened them, but it turned out really well. I really wanted to keep these for myself because they were size um, 37 European and I'm a size seven and a half, but European shoes is 10 shoes. Is, that's not a word. <laughs> European shoes tend to run narrow. 
I don't know why that is. I don't know if American's feet are just wider than, you know, European's feet. I don't know. But, um, so I would probably wear an eight in Prada driving shoes and they probably wouldn't pinch my toes. Um, so those sold on thread up. I actually sent them back to thread up. I think I can click this and get the listing again. Yes, I can. Woohoo. So they sold for 150. That means I made $106 and they turned out really nice. Um, I'm really happy the way these really turned out um, because if you look at the original ones, they were really scratch up. I don't think I would have got 150. They probably wouldn't even accept them on, on thread up had I not cleaned them up. It took me, I don't know, I bought 20 minutes of my time to actually spruce these up and make them look better than they did. Um, but I doubt it if I had done that, I doubt I would have even gotten maybe even $50 off of Poshmark because you're making that person do all the work. And when you uh, push all that work onto the person, you take a drastic lower, dra you take drastically lower than if you just spend the 20 minutes up front. I mean, I know people say, oh, I hate doing shoes. I mean, sometimes it's worth it. I think this was worth it. So um, with these two sales, I quad well, not quite quadrupled, but close to quadrupled my money. And then, so let's go back to the video. It's all disjointed, sorry. Um, yep, okay. These are the Ferragamo, uh, Salvatore Ferragamo shoes I got. Um, those I actually also sent to thread up, but I don't think I had to do much to them. There was a, a, there was a scratch on one side of them, but they were really pretty otherwise yeah i was waiting for myself to hold them up again come on melissa you can do it hold them up okay of the backs there you go so I, I had to do a little cleaning up of, of them but not too much so yeah here they are let's look at them up close so i made 106 dollars. so they also sold for 150 and uh yeah so i was really happy i don't think i did much to them they have a little, they had some marks on the toes still. They still sold just fine. They didn't have to be perfect. There are some people who think that shoes have to be completely perfect to sell and throw it up. That's not true. Um, they were an acceptable amount of flawed. And they did say, you know, these have signs of wear, have minor flaws or missing brand level flaws, include scuffs. And they do, they had scuffs. So, I mean, they're not always true in their description. Sometimes they miss things that happens. But you can see from the pictures that they do have scuffs. So, you know, two of the items I made $106 on by sending them back to thread up. So I've done this before. Um, that's not the first time I've sent things back to thread up from their own boxes. And I know before in my post I made about the $300 box, I just meant about that specific box is what I was sending back. But anyway, not to go off that. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Out of the seven items, I didn't sell four of them. I sold three of them and made quite a bit of money back. So that's $332, if I'm doing my math right. Yeah. So that's not bad. Off of $67. I may have only been 60 because I can't remember if I paid for shipping or not. And I don't think I did. So let's call it 60 And that's... I think that's a pretty good profit margin. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Let me know what you thought. Um, have you gotten a designer DIY box? And have you ever gone back to see if you actually made a profit or not? Um, some of these, you know, they need some love and then you expect that. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, back over here.